Hello, guys, and welcome back to Maz Bug. Um, I know you guys have been excited to see this roll cage get started, but um, I still don't have any tubing, so I am moving on. We finished up the uh, brake pedal assembly installation, and now um, I do have some parts for this front end for bump stops. So what I've done is I've set the pan on the ground, and I've shimmed it up off the ground four inches. That four inches is going to be set for my uh, lowest point during bump. Now I just got to uh, install the A-arms and get them ready for uh, installing this bump stop. So this bump stop is a DV8 brand. It's a very cheap uh, bump stop, but it's going to do what I need to do. I am using coilovers, uh, but no bypasses up front. So at full bump, I want to have a little bit of something to help me out, and that's what this is going to do. Install this kind of like the Doug Bug um, right in here somewhere. We've got to get these A-arms in full bump, so we're going to start with that. And then uh, once that's in full bump and I get the tires on, uh, we'll start jigging this guy up. Let's do this. Okay, I got my uh, pan set up four inches off the ground and I got my A-arms on the left-hand side uh, installed. I've set the center of my hub uh, 18 and a half inches off the ground. So that is set for my end goal, which would be 37 inch tires. Um, I will be running 35s initially, but this is an adjustable bump stop. So I'll set this all the way at the lowest setting. Um, so that will be bumping at four inches off the ground. But with a tire squish, that is likely to go to zero. Um, there's my kitty. So this will get installed somewhere right here, just like the dug bug. And I'll have to uh, figure out all the tubes that go in here um, to distribute the load properly. Oh, hey, this is a fun fact. This tube is actually the old torsion housing. So uh, I just chopped a piece of the torsion housing and I used it for the bump stop. But anyway, um, so now that this is set at the lowest setting, whenever I have this installed, and since I have it at basically worst case scenario, I have my 37 inch tires, I have it four inches off the ground with tire squish, that's gonna essentially go to zero. Um, whenever I go to 35 inch tires, I'm gonna actually wanna push these A-arms back down uh, to get more ground clearance. So I'll be able to use all this adjustability here to drop the arms back down at full bump to give me more ground clearance. So over on the assembly, uh, I decided where I wanted the bump stop to go and where it was gonna make sense. Um, here I drew out the sections of the uh, lower A-arm that has internal structure. So I got a, a vertical support in here, here, Here's my tube that's inside. I've got a triangulation here, and then I got my vertical here. Um, I want my bump stop to hit right here, somewhere in this section here. Um, the Doug Bug, uh, he had an eighth inch doubler plate on here. It ended up bending uh, when he took a really hard hit. Uh, I don't wanna have that happen, so I'm gonna try to land right on top of this vertical. And also, I'm gonna use a uh, quarter inch doubler plate. So it's a little bit heavier, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm willing to have it. So I'm going to get this doubler plate to span over uh, a lot of this internal structure and I'm going to land my uh, bump stop right there. So let's get this welded on. All right, 
so I didn't really like the way it looked, so uh, I put a 45 degree bevel on these edges and just ran over it with a DA to make it look a little bit better. Okay, I've got the bump stop all mocked up. I used the um, one inch flat aluminum bar bent over, zip tied to the bump stop and then clamped to certain things to just uh, try to hold everything square. I've got a square back here uh, to make sure that I'm running 90 degrees off the arm. Um, and then I used my uh, angle finder to make sure that I was running seven degrees, uh, kicked up this direction because that's my caster angle so that'll these arms are at seven degrees up, forward side up. Um, so now after I did that, I took a measurement and then I made a tube. So I'm gonna get this installed right here. Something like that. That'll be my first tube to kind of lock everything in. Um, and then after that, I will move on from there and start figuring out how I'm gonna do the rest of the tubes. I think I'm gonna run one more down at an angle and then one more into this inner support here. Uh, I can't do what Doug Bug did. He ran one tube from this other side up through here, um, up to this top bar up here. Um, that's actually a really good tube to have, but I'm not able to do that because these are two and a half inch stroke. He had four inch strokes, so his were a little bit taller. Um, so his bump stop was a little bit higher up. Uh, he also had a can, a bump stop can that was longer. So he was able to pick up his tube really high up here. All right guys, well something really great happened at the same time, it's gonna ruin this video for you guys. Uh, this is not gonna end the way you guys expect it. I am not going to be finishing out these bump stops. Uh, somebody reached out to me, somebody really cool. Uh, I'm not going to share who it was, but he's a dork. Um, uh, without his permission, I will share his name. But uh, anyway, uh, I am going to move forward with putting in bypass shocks up in this front end. I'm going to pull out these bump stops. I'm going to put in bypass shocks. Super excited about that. I do not care one bit that I got to cut some more parts out of this and change some of the design. It's a, it's a great, great thing that we're going to be doing. So... Uh, I'm very happy about that, um, but, you know, maybe there's some, some way we can pay it forward a little bit and uh, give out these bump stops. So I'll think of some way that we're going to give out these bump stops. Maybe it's at a thousand subscribers. Maybe it's some giveaway on uh, Instagram. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this is not ending with the completion of bump stop install, but uh, the next video is going to be really cool. We're going to have uh, some bypass shocks installed on this thing. So. Uh, I also got metal for my full roll cage, everything I need for the roll cage, so we're going to be jumping into that very soon. So stay tuned. If you guys want to get some cool merch, go to MyBugStore.com. I got all kinds of stuff on there, hats, shirts, cups, stickers, everything you think of. Not really, some stuff. And remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.